And new here at 6 o'clock tonight across our state, evidence to help put sexual assault suspects behind bars is waiting to be tested. And we told you about this yesterday. The statewide system to track these sexual assault kits was supposed to be up and running a year ago. But we found out it still isn't. Well, in 2020, the governor signed a bill telling SLED to create and operate a statewide sexual assault kit tracking system. The bill required all medical facilities and law enforcement agencies to be using the system by June of 2022. But SLED says they haven't received the funding for the program. And in 2021, there were more than 1,700 untested kits in the state. The attorneys for Stephen Smith's family saying that his kit is one of those. A Smith's body was found on the road in Hampton County in 2015. The teen's death was initially treated as a traffic incident, but SLED reopened an investigation after something they uncovered while investigating the Murdoch murders, and his case is now considered a homicide. The attorney for Smith's mother said in March a rape kit performed on Smith had not been tested. And we sent a Freedom of Information Act request to the South Carolina Department of Public Safety for their evidence logs, which show the rape kit was moved from Hampton County to the Medical University of South Carolina. In June of 2015, or in July, I should say, 2015, the next month it was moved to an evidence facility. And there's no further movement indicated after that. Now this is video from the scene of Smith's death and a report we got from the Hampton County Sheriff's Office within the last hour labeled Smith's death as a traffic fatality. It also says Smith had a severe head wound that looked like a possible gunshot. And we still don't know why a rape kit was performed and the coroner who handled it is no longer in office and the records have been sealed. Now, of course, we'll follow this very closely and any updates on the implementation of that sexual assault kit tracking system for the South Carolina investigative unit and the investigation into Stephen Smith's death.